I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This morning I'll be sharing the family word. Firstly, let me pray. Holy Father God, we thank you for your word. Mighty God, we pray that you bless the reading of the word and I pray that we will all be encouraged in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our reading, Luke 10, from verse 30. It says, In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. When he was attacked by robbers, they stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed on on the other side. So to a Levite went he came to the place and saw him pass by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wound, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for an any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. Amen. This is a parable of Azalone that demonstrates how we should love neighbors as ourselves. When others need our help the most, like the men beaten by robbers on the road, our love for neighbors is truly tested. We need to help others in times of suffering, in times of need, we need to help others. And we need to die to ourselves because sometimes we focus so much on ourselves. So good, yo, I'm rushing to that place, I'm rushing wherever. Sometimes we don't even see the need around us. Sometimes we don't even see uh, the people who are waving like, help, help, because we, we are rushing, guys, we, we are busy. Bazalwan, we are so busy. So I pray that uh, we will be able to see if there is a need around us because uh, this is teaching us that we should help people regardless of any nationality, background, skin color, or any denomination. We don't need to discriminate. I, I, know, I don't know this person, then I'm not going to help. Or you'll just look and then, oh, ah, this person is white, you know, I'm not even going to take my phone and call maybe the ambulance because maybe we can do just the least thing, small thing, just to take a phone and call the ambulance or maybe rush, there's a nearest police station, you rush to the police station and say there's a person who needs help across the road. I'm rushing somewhere but I just came here to, to report I, 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 they need help. Something like that, Bazalwan, as the children of God. Jesus died for us um, all. We have to do good to all the people. I would like to encourage us, each and every one today, that we will be intentionally and be a good neighbor, Bazalwan, wherever we are, at school, at work, at rest, even on the street. Jesus said to the expert of the law, go and do likewise. God is still saying the same to us today, which we must go and do likewise. We need to go out, Bazalwan. And be a good neighbor. And in Matthew 25, uh, the Bible says, The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. So whatever that we do, we are not doing it for people, but we are doing it for God. One little act of kindness, we do it for God. Let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. So with this, I would like us to be encouraged and to put the word of God into practice. 
Thank you very much. Have a blessed day, Father.